Hello and welcome to our lesson for today. I am teacher Kanan and we're going to talk about adverbs of evaluation. So what is an adverb? An adverb is kamwisit in Thai. To make it easier to understand, we group the adverbs into three categories. So we have the words like apparently, definitely, obviously, probably. So for this group of adverbs, it is to show how sure we are about an action. So it shows how certain you are about the, the thing that you did or, or the verb. How do we pronounce these words? So the first one is apparently, apparently. Second one is definitely. Third one is obviously. And the fourth one is probably. Example of sentences here, we have apparently, we need to do everything for this thing to work. So if you have like uh, an endeavor or something that you're doing, uh, it can be like a startup or a business. So you just uh, have that realization that you need to work hard in order to to fulfill your dream for it to, to work. So we have another one here. I will definitely study online with the English crew. If you are certain that you want to develop yourself, develop your English skills like reading, listening. Uh, so you say, you, I definitely want to study online with the English crew. Number three is obviously. He is obviously bored with the lecture when I look in his sleepy eyes. Okay, so from the word obviously, it's obvious. Okay, so you are sure that he's bored. Bored is like blah. Next one is she will probably design websites for a living. So there's a possibility that she will uh, design a website or code website for a living. So what do you mean when you say for a living? You're doing something for a living. It means you are what? It means you are earning money from doing that thing. So you can say, I cook for a living. If you have like a restaurant or if you have uh, a burger stand or a, like a kiosk where you cook, you can say, I'm doing that for a living. So probably, maybe, so who knows, I, I probably, I will probably design a website for a living or, or my mom will probably uh, sell insurance for a living, something like that. Now with the next group, we have what? Sadly, luckily, frankly, and fortunately. So uh, these, uh, this, this group, these adverbs, uh, we're trying to express our attitude towards something. So in this sentence, we have what? Sadly, I won't be able to join you guys due to a family emergency. So if you're going out your, with your friends, you're supposed to have like a dinner party or watch a movie. Uh, you normally express your uh, frustration by saying, oh, sadly, uh, I won't be able to join you guys this evening because I have a very important meeting with my boss or something like that. Family emergency. And then number two, we have luckily, she answered the questions the way the judges wanted it to be answered. So this could be pertaining to a competition or maybe a presentation of a project. So luckily, she answered the questions the way the judges wanted, wanted it to be answered. Next sentence is, to tell you frankly, I didn't ask for your opinion. This sentence is a bit uh, harsh. Yeah, so 
when you say frank, it means you are straight, straight to the point. So in here in Thailand, we we say pom pom pu trong trong, na So it's like it's like a straight talk or frankly, it's like you're honest. You're you're very honest. Like what you feel right now, you want to express it. So you say frankly. I didn't ask for your opinion, so I didn't ask for anything uh, or any advice. So sometimes they also say it like it's an unsolicited advice, unsolicited advice, right? And the next one is, fortunately, my boss passed by when my engine stopped working. So in this situation, it could be like you have a broken car or broken engine, and then suddenly someone that you know uh, passed by to to fix to help you fix it. So fortunately, fortunately, it's like you you feel that you're lucky that someone passed by to help you. So fortunately, okay. So for the next group, we have bravely. Carelessly, kindly, and foolishly. So this is to pass judgments on someone's or your own action. Okay, so it could be uh, someone's action or your own action. For for the sample sentence, we have: She bravely opened the door when someone knocked at twelve midnight. Imagine that scenario. You're you're home alone at 12 midnight and someone knocked at your door. Next is the boy carelessly dropped the iPhone 14 Pro. Imagine that expensive device or phone and then you will just drop it. <laughs> so so you are you can be certain that the boy could be careless or he doesn't care at all. Maybe he comes from a rich family. Next is, he kindly kept all the important documents after the meeting. Some employees, they just walk out and don't care about the mess after the meeting. So yeah, you can just say that an employee kindly kept all the important documents after the meeting. Next is foolishly. So I foolishly thought that everyone could speak English in Europe. Yeah, when I was young, when I was young, I also thought that people in in European countries can speak English, but I didn't know that not everyone speaks English. Like in other parts of Europe, like uh, maybe Latvia, or <laughs> I'm not sure. Like some other parts of Europe. Some people don't even speak English at all. So they, they have their own language. Yes, yeah, so with a quick Google search, we learned that there are countries in Europe who are not speaking English, like Spain, uh, Italy, we have uh, Russia. So those are countries that are not speaking English. With that thought, I think of myself as foolishly thinking that People in Europe are all speaking English. So those are the adverbs of evaluation. There are other words that you can find in the internet. If you're watching us on Facebook, you can visit our YouTube channel. The link is in the description below. And you can also download the PDF version of our lecture for today. It's also included in the description below. Don't forget to uh, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and click the bell for notification whenever we upload new videos. And that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. One second. What did you think about the ride? It was great. And apparently, I've never been on live television before, but apparently sometimes I don't watch the sh I don't watch the news. Because I'm a kid, and apparently every time, apparently Grandpa just gives me a remote after we watch the Powerball.